everyone, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and today we'll be checking out my Mojave EXB from Arma. Now, of course, that is their new 1 7th scale four-wheel drive desert truck, but this is pretty unique because it's an 80% roller. You do have to supply your own electronics and in this video, I'll show you exactly the electronics I chose for my Mojave. Now, probably one of my most asked questions on my unboxing video was whether or not Arma addressed the rear diff on the EXB versions of their car. Cars. Now, if you guys remember the Creighton, lots of people were having issues with the rear diff just blowing out. It didn't have an LSD plate installed from the factory, and that was Arma's fix, was to install that limited slip differential plate in the rear of the vehicle. Now, on the box of the Mojave, it states that the front and center have the LSD plates, but no mention the rear. So in this video later on, we will tear out the rear diff. Brand new truck here. We'll see if it has those plates and if Arma actually fixed the issue. But first, let's check out the electronics I chose for my Mojave. Starting up here in the front in the waterproof receiver box, I mounted up a Futaba R304SB receiver. This is a four channel telemetry system, so basically all around great little receiver at a bargain basement price. I do have this matched up to my 7PX radio system. Love this radio system. I run it in so many vehicles. Flipping it over to the business side of the Mojave, I installed the AGF RCA 80 BHSW servo. Now, if you haven't already heard of AGF, awesome company, kind of like a sleeper company in the servo world. However, they've been making servos for so long. They actually made OEM servos for lots of companies. Now they came out with their own servo line. So this is the A80 BHSW. And let me give you some specs of this thing. First off, it's waterproof. Second off, it's brushless. Third, a full aluminum case, all steel gears. And let me give you some stats here. At a 0.4 volts, it has 500 ounce inches of torque and a transit time of 0 0.07 seconds. So this thing is a rocket ship of a servo and can definitely take a beating with this heavy of an RC. Next down the line is the Max 6 ESC from Hobbywing. This thing is literally the size of a servo box. It is huge, large, and in charge. 160 amps, a built-in robust BEC to control almost any servo out there. It's capable from 3S up to 8S and also 100% waterproof. And the last stop on the Mojave is the Max 6 Easy Run 4985 brushless sensorless motor. This thing is a monster. Now keep in mind, I usually run 10 scale and 8 scale, but this thing is just ridiculous ridiculous in size compared to those other two sizes of motors. I did choose the 1650 kV option. It's going to be optimal on 6S, but I may sneak in an 8S just to see what it can do. Hobby Wing does not recommend running 8S on this motor, but eh, what the hell? Let's strap one in and see what it can do. Now, as far as motor size, once again, 4985, those are the dimensions of this motor, and it's probably the largest can that you can run in diameter, that 49 millimeters. You definitely have some length on the rear of the chassis here, but pretty much 49 millimeters is going to be the largest diameter you can run before you start shimming up the center differential. And now it's time. Let's go ahead and rip out that rear differential and see what's inside. The first step is removing the rear bumper and skid plate by removing the five screws on the bottom of the skid plate and the two screws that mount to the front of the rear shock tower. Seven screws. This thing comes off completely. Next, loosen the shock bottoms down here. Next, loosen the set screws holding the sway bar to the A-arm. And finally, remove the four bolts holding the diff case cover on. Finally, grabbing the diff case, I actually had to use some pliers to pull this off. It was in there pretty snug. The thing just pops right off. You have access to your rear differential. Taking the rear differential out, it's definitely smooth, but I found that there was almost no grease at all. There was some kind of caked in there on the opposite side, almost like they put grease on the wrong side 
of the differential, but this is pretty much dry. I don't see too much on the face of these teeth at all. So I'm gonna pack that with some grease before I button this thing up. But let's go ahead and take off this bevel gear and see what's inside. All right, so I removed the four screws. I haven't opened it up yet. Hopefully my reaction on camera. I hope they put diff plates inside of here. And they did, there you go. Arma fixed this thing up, awesome. Well, I'm gonna button the rear of the Arma Mojave EXP back up. I'm charging some batteries and I'm going out this weekend and I'm going to bash the hell out of this thing. So stay tuned for that next video. Well guys, if you have any questions about this EXP, please post it on down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. And finally, my name is Rich. Thanks for watching.